Today I'm gonna to talk through how my summer wardrobe has actually been serving me and share what worked and what didn't uh, and just give you kind of a peek behind the scenes of my closet. Hello, I'm Kristen from Kristen Keen Style. Welcome, I'm thrilled that you are here. Welcome to my temporary room and my temporary closet. Uh, if you're not aware, we are in Utah for um, a temporary amount of time or we're in temporary housing for an extended amount of time. I'm not exactly sure which it is. I am a style and mindset coach. If you are not familiar with my work, style therapy is the way that I work one-on-one -on -one with clients and I can help you create a wardrobe you love wearing. A simple wardrobe. We do this without making it complicated or expensive or take a whole lot of time with shopping and um, complex outfit creating and all of that. I believe, as you will see today, in a simple wardrobe that serves you and supports the life that you live and also is filled with pieces that light you up. So I am going to today really go piece by piece through my wardrobe and share how my summer wardrobe has been serving me because this summer has been very different for us. And when I say summer, I guess I really mean August and September because the earlier part of the summer was spent packing to get ready to move from Colorado to Utah. So we came for two months, not sure where we would be headed next. It, as it turns out, we will be in Utah through the rest of the year. So I am getting ready to pack up my summer stuff, although it is still pretty warm here. There are lots of these pieces that I know I will not wear again this year. So I'm getting ready to pack up my summer stuff and go gather some of my fall and winter clothing from Colorado. Uh, because as you will see, I do not really have a whole lot that's going to work for colder weather. So I'm going to talk you through the pieces. I'm not going to try things on today. Most of these pieces you have already seen or could already see in a past thrifting video or um, a try on of some other type. So I'm not going to spend time trying things on today. I'm really going to talk through what worked and what didn't and why it worked or why it didn't given the lifestyle that I have. So I work with clients since we've been in Utah. I have only worked with clients online. So I haven't been in person in anyone's closet yet. So online, obviously I'm basically waist up. So I need to have on a top that's great with some comfortable pants. Uh, today I was working at the library in one of their study rooms for a work block this morning and then this afternoon I have client calls so I will change out of my t-shirt but these green linen pants that I have basically lived in for the last few months will probably stay on my body. Um, and I don't do a whole lot here other than go out and do some fun stuff during the day with um, my family or with some women who I've met here. Uh, in the evening, we have been going to see my son's bluegrass band, which has been a lot of fun and is not, I, I wasn't really going out like that in Boulder. So it's been kind of fun to be able to get dressed and the evenings get pretty cool here. So it's nice that I can start out in something more summery and then take a sweater with me and put that on as the evening goes on. Um, and then, like I said, client work and um, Instagram lives and content creating and that sort of thing. I'm going to show you kind of what I've been wearing for those things. But usually, as I said, I'm having on some sort of comfortable pants that can be worn out of the house, but aren't um, dressy in any way, aren't formal. Um, and then some sort of top that looks presentable and like I'm doing my job. So, all right, I am going to just start on one side and work my way over. This closet is considerably smaller than, and this house is considerably smaller than the house that we moved out of in Colorado. My closet there was a walk-in closet and it had ample room, actually kind of too much space. So I've enjoyed having to pare down and granted this, and even in Colorado, I only had really one season in my closet at a time. Um, I also had a dresser in my closet there and I don't have that. So I have moved, I've rearranged a little bit compared to how this usually looks because I have moved a couple of bins that have workout clothes and underwear and socks and that sort of thing out because there's no reason to share those or to have those clutter up the space but I'm learning to live with a closet that has less space and also has these great built-ins. So that's been kind of fun. Matthew has, I have the luxury at this house of having a bedroom that he is using as an office and that bedroom has a great closet also. So he is using that closet for all of his workout gear and bike riding clothes and also work clothes and hangout clothes and that kind of thing. So I don't have to share a closet with him. So this one's just mine. Okay, so I'm going to start um, at the front and just share you know, what the pieces are and how they worked. So this little top I thrifted, I guess a year ago. I have worn it a lot. I have worn it several times here. 
with just jeans or pants and a sweater with me for when it gets cool. I'm glad I brought it. I will probably not wear it much more, maybe once or twice more before I put away things for the, um, for the winter. This one, same thing. I have worn this a couple of different times with jeans and uh, I'm glad I brought it. And it is, you know, a great kind of cotton lawn fabric that I probably won't wear moving into the fall. This one I also have worn a couple of times, not as many times as the other two. This is also thrifted. This is thrifted universal thread actually. Um, and I like this top. It's a little sweet for me. Like I can do this kind of sweet with the eyelet and the embroidery. For some reason, the fluttery sleeve feels a little extra sweet to me. But when I put it on with a pair of Levi's and a little pair of sneakers, I have worn it to some of Peter's shows and I've worn it around, you know, just with a little sweater over it. And it's been great. Again, I'm not sure that I'm going to wear this layered with a warmer sweater. So this one probably is going to get packed away. This is a thrifted Madewell white t-shirt. I have also worn that. Um, this is a uh, purchased new Old Navy t-shirt and I've worn this one a decent amount. This is the hanger that the one I have on came from. This t-shirt I have worn once or twice and then the last time I went to wear it, I noticed that it's new. I bought it the same day as the one I have on from Old Navy. I noticed it has a hole in the shoulder and I do have a thread and um, I do have thread and a needle here, but I haven't taken the time to fix it, but I will because I like the color. This one I have not worn yet. If you saw my thrifted video, thrifted haul video um, over the summer, I thrifted this recently and I just haven't worn it. I don't know if it's because it's at the back or if it's because I don't know why. So I haven't worn this yet. This because it's a little heavier cotton and because it's a little darker color, I think that I will keep this out because it would be cute with a warmer sweater over it. So this one I believe is going to stay when I pack up the summer stuff. This thrifted Eileen Fisher, I have worn. I will wear this a couple more times because it is linen. I'll probably pack it away because I have other blouses that I will bring from Colorado uh, that I'll enjoy wearing into the fall. This one I have worn a lot. This is thrifted Eddie Bauer. It is a little big for me. And sometimes when I put it on, I think, is this just way too big? but I tuck it all the way in because it hangs pretty long in the back. I tuck it all the way in and I'm actually glad I have it. I love the creaminess of it. I've worn it with a sweater over it and with jeans and pants and it's been great. So I don't know if I'll keep, I could keep this one out and put it with sweaters. I just kind of can't remember what I have in the bins that are the fall clothes. And I think I probably have a cream sweater that will translate better into fall. This one I also have worn a few times. I, if you saw on Instagram the night I learned to swing dance, I was wearing this shirt. <laughs> um, part of the fun of going to a bluegrass band is that your son's friends have um, know how to swing dance and they're willing to teach you. So thank you, Joe. Um, this is Uniqlo. When I purchased it, it was very long, almost tunicky kind of shirt tail length, and I just uh, cut it off and hemmed the bottom of it. This one I will pack away because the three quarter sleeves don't allow me to really put a sweater over it very easily. So that one I will not keep out. This one I have worn a couple of times. Every time I wear it, I feel like I'm wearing pajamas. This is also thrifted Universal Threads. Um, I really like it. I don't know that I love it. It is warm for the summer weather, and yet it doesn't feel very autumnal given the colors. So I think that this one probably will get packed away unless I decide to donate it or sell it because I like it. I, when I put it on, I really like it. This is exactly the conversation I have with clients. When I put it on, I really like it and there's not really anything wrong with it, but I'm not sure it lights me up. So this one I'm gonna hold off on. Um, this one I really love and it will translate into fall. It is made well thrifted. Uh, I actually have enjoyed wearing this one a couple of times already and I will wear it more as the season changes. The one thing about this is I have to be mindful of the length, the height of the jeans or the pants that I'm wearing because the top is not all that long and I am relatively long in the torso. And at the bottom, it well, it maybe doesn't seem like it matters because the button is here and then there's this much space. When I front tuck it, it's like it doesn't stay tucked and then it's not that I care really if my belly shows, but it's just not comfortable because I have to kind of fuss with it. So I have to be mindful of which jeans or which pants I wear with it. I need a higher rise in order for this to really work. That said, if I put a little tank under it and can just front tuck the tank, I'm fine if this just hangs out and doesn't stay tucked. This one I actually wore just recently for Instagram Live. I love this top. Again, it's gauze and it's super bright. So I probably, this is Thrifted Rails, I probably will pack this one up also just because I'm, this hot pink 
into fall is probably not what I'm going to gravitate towards. That said, I think this hot pink is beautiful with navy. It's beautiful with gray. It's not that I couldn't keep it out because certainly it's a, it has enough coverage and the gauze is thick enough that it's not going to be too cool. Um, it would be good for the changing temperature. It's just that the color feels a little bit more like spring and summer than it does like fall. So this one I think I'll probably put away, but I have worn it. This is thrifted L.L. Bean linen. I have worn this one also. I actually think I would prefer this shorter. I did not bring my sewing machine, but we have an amazing library about a mile from us and they have a sewing machine and a serger and an embroidery machine, some stuff that you can just reserve and go in and use at the library. So I could, I, my sewing machine will eventually be here probably, um, but I just haven't taken the time to go to the library and shorten it. However, when I wear it, I realized that I kind of wish that it were, that it hit me a little more at the hip bone, which is kind of my sweet spot. It hangs a little more tunicky and it feels a little frumpy on me. It, I feel kind of like the, you know, 20 years down the road version of me, not like my current self in this. It just feels a little too mature. This one I have not worn yet. And I think just because it's really sheer, it's really lightweight, almost sheer chambray. It is thrifted J crew. I think that it's just because it's been warm enough that this color just feels a little heavy and a little um, dark for right now. I'm going to keep this one here in Utah and I will wear it with sweaters over it because I really like that one. This one I actually recently thrifted. It is Abercrombie uh, and it is a dreamy black watch plaid flannel. And I haven't worn this one. Um, I have washed it and gotten it ready to wear, but I haven't worn it yet. So I'm gonna keep this one so I can wear it when it gets cold. This sweater has been an old favorite for ages. It's old navy, it's ancient. I don't really remember how long ago I got it, but it's many, many years old. I had its twin in ivory and I left it in the back seat of a rental car and then could never get it back. I tried, but it never got turned in and I hope the person who found it is enjoying it. Uh, I thought I was gonna wear this a lot. I almost purged it before we came and then I thought, you know what? I actually really love the weight of that sweater and, and yet I have not put it on one time since we've been here, which puzzles me a little bit. Um, and maybe I'll wear it now that we have days that are getting a little bit cooler, but I'm surprised that I haven't worn it because this has been a favorite in the past. And this often happens with clients where the past favorites stay because they were past favorites. And then there comes a time where they get passed over and that feels like what's happening with this. Um, let's see, have not worn this blazer one time, have not worn this blazer one time, have not worn this blazer one time. So I love a blazer. My life here so far has not included blazers. Bluegrass music and dancing does not really, you know, it's not really a blazer event. Uh, and while I've had client calls, I have had on other outfits that haven't been quite this structured. I love a blazer. The problem is that I have a lot of great blazers that I really love that are still in Colorado that are more fall and winter. So I honestly, like this blazer is fantastic, but it's literally like a t-shirt. And I'm just not sure that I'm going to wear this over some of the heavier, thicker ones that I have that I will bring with the fall and winter clothes. Same with this white one. I have a cream one from H&M. This is Thrifted Ann Taylor and it's a linen cotton blend. And so I'm not sure that I'll wear this one into the fall where I will wear the cream one from H&M that is just a synthetic that looks a little more time, you know, like it's a four season blazer instead of being more summer. And this one from Anthro I love, but I have other black blazers I love. So the blazer situation is kind of a conundrum and was clearly um, a bit of a misjudge on my part because I brought them thinking I would wear them and I haven't had one of them on my body, nor have I even considered putting one of them on my body. So next I'm just gonna talk quickly about this pile of pants. These pants in blue, kind of heathered blue, are the exact same as the ones I have on from Old Navy. I have worn them many, many days here because they're comfortable, easy to wear at home. These are from Target. I bought them a couple years ago. They are a new day. They're a little more of a trouser shape. They're, they have a little bit of a pleat. They're kind of a straight leg, linen, comfortable. The reason I don't wear these as often as I wear the ones I have on or the blue ones I just showed is because I really need a belt or they don't kind of sit where I want them to. They feel like they're falling down because they stretch because they're linen. And when I have a belt on, then it kind of doesn't feel comfortable to sit and write or create content or talk to clients. I'm more comfortable with an elastic waist and it slows me down when I have to go to the bathroom. So it's not that I haven't worn these out of the house, you know, different days while it's been real hot. I will not probably wear them again this year because um, it's getting cooler and I'm happier in jeans now. 
And these are the same pair I have on in sort of this oatmeal color. I have worn these and I'm glad I brought them. I will probably send those back to Colorado since I will have other um, tan-ish pants that I will wear into the fall. These are a pair of thrifted uh, Eileen Fisher trousers that I purchased. The button fell off. I have the button. I have a thread and a needle. I have not fixed it, but I can wear them because it's an elastic waist. They will stay up. And so I have been wearing them around the house when the other pants are in the laundry, uh, but probably these should just get fixed or get donated because they don't look so great without the button on them. These are Old Navy. They are gauze. I have worn these a lot. Again, I need a belt with them, but I do wear them. I've worn them out in the evening. I've worn them during the day. They're really comfortable uh, and they'll probably go back to Colorado because I have other black pants that will be more what I want for the coming season. This necklace situation, I have not really worn any of these. I have a little jar, a little plate sitting on the other side of the room that has the jewelry that I keep rotating through, which is just a couple of different necklaces and a couple, some hoops and my diamond studs and my watch. These necklaces, I'm not sorry I brought because I think as it gets cooler, I will layer more necklaces, but when it's so hot, I really don't feel like having all that stuff around my neck. So I'm not sorry I have them. I'm going to keep them here, but I honestly have not even considered wearing any of them because I've worn the couple others that I wear pretty regularly. Okay, next, I'm just gonna pop down here. This sweater, I don't know what I would have done without it. I have worn it a lot. I've worn it in the evening when I'm chilly just in my house. I have worn it to the library to work where it's a little cool in the study room. I have worn it out in the real world. I've taken it with me in the evening. I have always loved this sweater. It is from H&M, it's cotton. I will probably keep this here because it's a good transition sweater. This is the only cashmere that I brought and it's Interestingly, from Old Navy, you may have seen it on a thrifted video. I didn't even know Old Navy made cashmere sweaters, it's sort of a lavendery gray. I'm glad I brought it because, like I said, we have had some chilly evenings in house and out of house. And so I'm glad I brought it. Uh, I didn't realize how much I was going to wear it. I will definitely be happy to have my other cashmere sweaters here with me. And then this was a recent thrift find. Also, I, I might do a proper thrift haul because I have a couple of thrifted pieces, but um, you're seeing a couple of them now. This was a thrifted find. Sun Valley was one of the first mountain towns I ever went to where I realized how incredible it would be to live in a place where in August you can wear a sweatshirt and there is no humidity and the evenings are chilly. And so Sun Valley, Idaho was the first place that I really realized that was an option. So this was longer when I purchased it and it had a real thick band around the bottom and it didn't sit where I wanted it to. So I took the band off and then I chopped off a decent amount of the sweatshirt. I did save the band so that it can get added to the sewing pile if I ever choose to go to the library and use their sewing machine. And I could reattach the band at the place where it hits me, you know, in the right spot. However, I've washed it and worn it and it has not frayed or unraveled at the bottom and I'm perfectly happy with the raw edge. It has been just a dreamy addition to my wardrobe and I'm so glad that Greta found it. And actually she bought it for me, so thank you Greta. Okay, so next, these are all tank tops and t-shirts and I have worn most of them. I'm gonna pull out the ones I have not worn. So, a couple of blue t-shirts. I've worn those with sweaters over top of them. You know, green tank top, also it's in an old thrifted video pink and white tank tops, a little white t-shirt. I have worn those just really to sit in the backyard or to walk around the block. Um, these two I have not worn, so I don't really know why. Um, something about this feels a little severe to me. I love stripes and I have a couple striped t-shirts I have worn. The striped tank with the v-neck, it feels a little, maybe severe isn't the right word. There's something extreme about it that hasn't felt like what I've wanted to wear since we've been here, but it's still a great, great tank top, so I might just um, tuck it away for next summer. This is actually a great shirt also. It is thrifted from Loft. I like that the little t-shirt, the bottom has this little tie so that you don't really have to worry about front tucking or whatever. It sits really well to wear with a skirt, and I didn't really bring the skirts that I usually wear it with because they're really more vacation skirts, like tropical vacation skirts. And this is not a tropical vacation. So this I could wear with jeans. I'm not sure if it's actually long enough that I would love it with jeans, given where it hits. It's much better with a little skirt, but I didn't wear it once. And so this will also go away. I've learned that, as you're gonna hear when I get to dresses, 
I have a very specific vacation persona and I like the way she dresses on vacation, but those things don't really translate into my real life. They're not the things that I want to wear when I'm running to the grocery store or going to see my son's band or working with clients or hanging out in my home. So I need to maybe make the vacation bin, you know, fill the vacation bin because I already have a bin that is really just for warm weather vacation that has the kind of tropical feeling um, floral things and just stuff that I really only wear when I go away on a vacation, which is not all that often. I realized from this experiment that there are more things in my wardrobe that could go in that. Both of these tank top, kind of t-shirt tank top, these things could easily go in the vacation bin and um, I could wear them then. This is more printed t-shirts and I have worn, I think most of these. Um, and most of these I have talked about before. So it's just a striped t-shirt and my breakfast club t-shirt and a theoretical blonde t-shirt, which is Peter's band and a folklore t-shirt and a Taylor Swift concert t-shirt and my hooray for gratitude t-shirt. And then I thrifted, um, I guess back in May when we were here for graduation, um, a Utes t-shirt because Peter is a graduate of the University of Utah. And this also was too long, so I chopped off the bottom. This will stay, I have not worn it yet because it's been too warm. So that's kind of the t-shirts. I brought three scarves with me just so I had a summer scarf. I have worn all three, I've taken them out in the evening with us so that I had something um, just so that, you know, I had an extra layer if I was chilly. And I have worn them and then taken them off and tucked them in my bag or whatever. So I'm not sorry I brought all three of those. These two pairs of shoes, I have not had, actually these I wore one day. I've had these on one day. These I have not had on at all. I probably will probably keep these here because I will wear these into the fall. These I have better ox, I have better fall Oxfords that I will bring back with me. So I don't think that these are going to get anywhere. So I think I'm gonna take these back um, and put them in uh, the storage container for next spring. But these I actually do like, these are thrifted Joan and David, and I will wear these again as I start to wear more autumnal stuff. Uh, I just haven't really worn these much in the summer. All right, this is uh, bathing suits and workout clothes. I have worn these a lot, bathing suits primarily because we have a sauna at this house. And so I have not been swimming, but I have used them um, in the sauna and then to rinse off with the freezing cold garden hose um, after the sauna. Next is this little pile of denim. So these are some, hand-me-down shorts from Greta. They're lucky. Uh, I've just worn these around the house. I don't really, as a general rule, wear shorts out of my house, um, except in like the backyard. I don't wear, I don't leave home in shorts usually. Uh, and then these are Forever 21. These I think were also Greta's. Um, and I have been the lucky recipient of both of those. And these are old thrifted Levi's that I love. And I have actually not worn this pair because I have the exact same jeans um, that just fit slightly differently and these I have worn a lot. So it's not that I don't like that pair, it just hasn't been cold enough that I've needed to have jeans on every day and those are a little slouchier, so I just haven't worn them yet. Um, what else is hiding under here? Let's see, that's just a black sleep top and this is a very old thrifted Sierra Nevada Pale Ale t-shirt, uh, the first beer that Matthew and I ever had together was a Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, so that t-shirt makes me smile, and I do wear that, and I have worn it a lot at home and with a sweater on to leave the house. I will keep going with jeans here. I brought both pairs of recently thrifted um, 501s. They are in the past thrift haul video, most recent thrift haul video. They've been great. I have worn this pair more often because they um, start out a little bit snugger, and they just feel a little bit better with the summer tops. I think as I'm wearing chunkier sweaters, these that fit a little bit looser will be perfectly fine. I just haven't, as I said, needed to wear both pair because it's been more um, hot weather than denim weather. This pile over here, this is a skirt, also thrifted. It is from um, Inc, International Concepts. And this you also may have seen in a thrifted video. Um, I love this skirt, I have not worn it. I want to love skirts, but when I put them on, I don't feel like my most authentic self. Sometimes I wear a skirt and feel great. Usually I put on a skirt and decide I want to take it off and put on pants. So this is a great skirt, but this is definitely going to go in the summer bin and I will revisit it in the you know spring and next summer. 
These are also old thrifted Levi's. These I wear a lot, usually to just run errands um, or to kick around in because they're a little slouchier and um, aren't quite as, they're not quite as great a shape, but I love them, so I do wear these. Okay, let's move on to this side here. This is a little thrifted dress. Again, you probably saw this in a thrifted video. It is Michael Starr's, I think. I like it. I don't love it. I felt very exposed in it the night that I wore it. I had a little black sweater that I wore with it. Um, and I, it just, I don't love it. I don't feel amazing in it. So I think this one probably will get donated because it's not really in great enough shape to sell. So I think that one's just going to be done for now. These are the famous Alex Mill pants that I purchased in the spring. I have worn these a couple of times. They are great. I have realized they are a little too high rise for me. Let me take that back. The rise isn't so high. The rise is really long. So even when they sit at my waist, which they do, the crotch hangs pretty low and it's a little annoying. I still love them and I am still uh, determined to continue to wear them because I like the way they look and they feel good and they're just a really great quality. And if I were to do it again, I probably would have kept looking before I invested in these and tried to find a pair that wasn't quite as deep in the rise. I'm fine with where they sit at my waist. I don't love the amount of fabric that's kind of between my legs. This next one is also a thrifted item. Peter played a really cool show at a um, an incredible venue, outdoor garden um, farm in August. And I wanted to have a dress um, that felt like the event. And so I thrifted this one um, and it's a wrap dress. I'm gonna put it on over here, which is gonna be a little ridiculous, but you'll get the idea. It wraps and it was fun to dance in and swingy and I had a little sweater over it and it was great. Uh, and it was about, I don't know, $14 maybe, which is a little high for me for thrifting, but it was worth it because I really enjoyed wearing it. I don't, I could wear this into the fall with a sweater over it and a little pair of booties or something, but I probably won't. So this might go back uh, to Colorado into the bin, into the storage unit. This dress I thrifted, it is from World Market. I have not had it on my body one time. I don't really know why. This feels like vacation and this doesn't feel like my real life. So this will definitely go in the vacation bin. These two dresses are by a brand called Yes No. I bought them on Amazon because I was influenced by Carla Reed um, from Instagram. And I have worn these many times, both on tropical vacations and in my real life. We had a couple of nights where Peter had concerts, had shows, and it was really hot. And so I have worn both of these. They're super comfortable, easy to wear, and they're cute with a sweater over them. So these two will definitely get packed away. I won't wear them in the fall, but they've been good. I'm glad I had them. This little dress I should have known when I purchased it, but I probably would never wear it because I feel a little nerdy in it. I should and could have worn it this time in Utah while it's been warm. I could probably give it a chance over the next couple weeks while it's still warm. I think I'll do that and then I will know whether or not it gets to stay. It's really cute when I put it on. It's one of those things where, like I said, same as I hear from my clients, hey, but it fits and it's cute on me. Why don't I wear this? And I don't exactly know, I guess, guess I need to explore that because it is cute and it looks nice when I put it on. It has a little bit of that same 20 years into the future vibe. I'm just not sure it feels like me now, but I'm going to wear it and I will report back. This one I put on to wear one night um, and took it off and wore something else. This is Thrifted Zara. It is really a fabulous dress. I love blue and white stripes. It fits really well. It's swingy. It's pretty. It just feels like vacation. It hangs. It exposes a little more just of my chest up top than I really love. And so I don't think that I will wear it in real life, but I would definitely wear it at the beach. This dress I hadn't worn at all. And then I wore it twice recently. Well, I wore it once recently and realized how much I liked it. And then I wore it again. Uh, I had thrifted this probably a year ago, maybe back in the spring, maybe back in the winter. I don't remember. Um, it's CNC California. It has pockets. It just fits really cute. I wore it with little sneakers and I had a little cardigan over it and then it was warm. So I got to take the cardigan off. I'm actually glad I have this. I like this dress. This is my kind of dress. This dress I love also. I just haven't worn it because it hasn't been quite cool enough. So this one's Uniqlo, also thrifted. 
I, it hasn't been the right temperature that anytime I'm going to wear a dress, it feels like I want less sleeve. So I am hopeful. It, it is a linen and cotton blend. I'm hopeful in the next couple weeks, I will be able to wear this before I put it away. This skirt I have actually worn a couple of different times. I have a white t-shirt that has the Theoretical Blonde logo on it, which is my son's band. So I have worn this skirt. I just wore it the other night, actually, to a big show he had. Um, I have worn this skirt with a little pair of sneakers and that white t-shirt, and it's been great. So um, I'm glad I have this. This is Thrifted J. Crew, and it's just you know, an easy little skirt to wear. I could wear this into the fall with a little pair of booties. I'm not a huge skirt person, so I'm not sure if I will but I might keep it because I don't really have any other fall skirts that I would wear instead. So this with a chunky sweater and a little pair of boots, I might actually wear it, it's just cotton. These two sweaters, I really have not worn because I have chosen a cream sweater most nights when I've grabbed a sweater or I have one black pullover that I've taken with me instead. I love both of these. I've recently thrifted both of these um, cardigans and they will stay because they're good for transition and because they're navy i think i'll wear them as it gets cooler more than i did over the summer this lovely j jill cover-up that i thought i would wear in and out of the sauna i have worn one time because i really just wear my towel out to the sauna in my with my bathing suit because i'm only here with my family and they don't care uh so it's really fabulous but it's going to go in the vacation bin and then my bathrobe and a couple of belts i have worn all of these belts no surprise that I've worn the leopard belt the most. I also have this um, thinner leopard belt that I have worn a lot also. I realized that I could kind of only have leopard belts and that would be fine with me, but I do have a black, a brown, and then kind of a woven summery one, which I will put away. Okay, I just have a couple sweaters and then we're done. I bought three pairs of sneakers, which are down here on the bottom, a pair of white Converse, a pair of white Tigers that I, um, thrifted and a pair of black gazelle uh, adidas and all of those I have worn repeatedly with dresses and with pants and with jeans. Um, okay so those sweaters here let's see I have worn this one just kind of sheer you'll notice there's a lot of repeat theme here of cream sweaters because I love cream sweaters I have worn that one I have not worn this kind of sheer a little dressier Zara one mostly because it is a little dressier and I haven't gone anywhere where it felt like the right thing. This little cardigan is old, old navy. I do wear this a decent amount. I can put it on to go to the library. I can put it on for a client call. I can just wear it at home. Um, I can take it out in the evening. So this I have worn a decent amount. This I recently thrifted. I have not worn it yet. It's a great sweater. It's really thick cotton. So I'm looking forward to the change of season where this is the right weight. This is Thrifted Eileen Fisher, black, kind of sheer. I have taken this out many evenings so that I could just throw it on as a layer as it got chilly, so it has been pretty good. I don't know that I'll need this once we get um, into the fall and I get my more cold weather clothing from Colorado because that one is really pretty sheer. It's fabulous, but it's really pretty sheer. Okay, a couple more sweaters and then we're done. This is also Old Navy. I bought this a couple seasons, maybe probably been three years since I bought it. This is great. I love how sheer it is because it doesn't add a lot of heat. You know, it doesn't make me too warm, but if it's a little bit cool, it's a nice layer and it is just the right shape to kind of layer over a dress or over a t-shirt easily uh, or tie around my shoulders. So that one I like. This one, I really like this sweater. <laughs> I actually love this sweater. It is Wooden Ships, which is an expensive brand. I thrifted it. I understand why I don't wear it very often. I, this has sort of been an experiment for me. It pretty much always falls off the shoulder, which doesn't bother me per se. I don't care if my bra strap shows. It's not really a problem. The bigger problem is it doesn't really layer with anything. Like I, over a white t-shirt, the t-shirt, the, the sweater's too delicate and too soft and um, a little flimsy. And so if I try to layer the sweater over something, it looks kind of lumpy and weird. Uh, it really is great on its own, but it has to be just the right temperature because if I wear this sweater and it's a little too warm, I get hot. And if I wear this sweater and it's a little too cool, the knit, the weave is just a little too open. And so then the wind is kind of coming through it and it's falling off my shoulder. It really feels more like a beach sweater, like a sweater that I would want to put on with a pair of denim shorts or with a pair of you know, white linen pants or cream linen pants and wear to walk on the beach which falls under the category kind of a fantasy life, which I recognize 
most women have this sort of category of clothing where, well, I'll wear that when it's freezing cold and I'm sipping my coffee outside, you know, in the morning while the snow falls. We have this category that then we buy clothing for, but we don't actually live that life. It's not that I never go to the beach, but I don't think I've ever taken this sweater to the beach and I have had it for several years. So it sort of falls under that category of, I'm going to wear it at the beach, but then I don't. It's not super functional. If I went on a vacation that wasn't a beach vacation, I probably wouldn't take it because it's not a super functional layering piece. So it would just be taking up room to kind of be worn in one way. It's like a one, you know, one, whatever they call it. <laughs> um, one hit wonder kind of thing. Um, so this one is going to go in the vacation box and I'm going to challenge myself to actually wear it on vacation because I really do like it. The next one is a Brandy Melville, um, which I really like. It's a little, I thought I would wear it more, but it's a little too thick. So I will wear it once the season begins to change and it gets a little cooler here because I really like it and it's thick, nice cotton. So I will keep this one to wear in the transition time. And the same with this Cezanne one. I love this Cezanne Leontine sweater. This was um, my first investment, first and only yet investment with the company Cezanne. I really love this sweater. I love it so much that I tend to save it, but this season right now, it's not so much that I've been saving it, it just has been a little too thick for the weather. So once it gets a little cooler, I love this sweater and I can't wait to wear it. And that's a wrap. That's all I've got. Um, I'm looking around to see if there's anything that I didn't show. I've, I'm not a handbag person, so I brought my one Madewell um, like commuter tote, I forget what it's called but it's like a smallish tote bag with handles up here and then the shoulder strap and it's green and I bought shoe polish so I could polish it and it's great, I thrifted it. And then the only other bag I brought was also thrifted this little um, Susan Joy uh, or Joy Susan, whatever it is, crossbody bag that can be worn as a um, kind of a wristlet or whatever uh, so that I could take it to shows if I wanted something smaller, but I'm not a handbag person. I, I want it to be easy and so I have two handbags the green tote from Madewell that I use every day all the time and this one in case I need a smaller bag to go out in the evening and that's really it that's what I got I have you know kind of a puffer jacket that I wear on walks if it's cold which I haven't needed yet in the front hall closet and some running shoes and yeah a pair of Crocs that I wear outside to take out the trash and stuff that's all so Overall, I feel pretty good about what I brought, which is all of my summer clothes, really, with the exception of the things that, like I said, I only wear on a tropical vacation. I feel pretty good about it, although there are definitely pieces, I would say a third of the pieces that I could have done without because I have been wearing the favorites on repeat, which I recognize is just the norm. It's the way we operate 20% of our wardrobe 80% of the time. So I think I've worn a little more than 20%. And I am curious to see what happens with the fall clothing because I'm, I'm a new person here. I'm a different version of me here in a lot of ways. My lifestyle is a little different. I'm doing different things. And so I'm curious to see what happens with my fall clothes. As I said, it's still warm here right now. I am thinking ahead to when it's crisp and chilly and I can wear all the layers and all the sweaters. So I'm looking forward to having those here and I will assess that at the end of this time. I'm learning a lot about myself and my wardrobe, specifically that my summer clothes contain a lot of things that are really just vacation vibe for me. And I am much more comfortable in a pair of wide leg linen pants and a t-shirt and a sweater over top when it's chilly than I am in dresses and skirts and shorts and that kind of thing. All right, that's all I got for you today. If you are not already following me over on Instagram, I would love to have you come on over there. I am at Kristen Kane Style. I do a live Q&A, live style Q&A, ask me anything every Tuesday at noon mountain time. You can drop your question down below and just write Instagram so I know to answer it over there. Or you can come over to Instagram and I post a question box on Sunday and or Monday every week so that you can drop in your question and I will answer it on Tuesday. And if you're interested in working one-on-one -on -one with me, style therapy is how I do that. And it is a program that will get you the results you want in your closet. You will be able to get dressed with ease and have a wardrobe that actually works for you. And I think one of the most important things about style therapy is that it is actually easier than you might be thinking it's going to be to get the results that you want because my process works. I have done this work for over 20 years. I know exactly what is needed in order to get you from overwhelmed and frustrated and feeling like you have this packed closet and nothing to wear to the other side of that, which is, 
oh my gosh, I eliminated all the excess. I understand exactly how to wear the pieces I have. I know where to shop for the pieces I don't yet have. And I know how to make an outfit that actually feels authentic and lights me up. It is my favorite thing to do to help you go from that space where you are just so overwhelmed to the space where I get texts of you wearing outfits that you put together that you feel amazing in. So if you'd like information on style therapy, there is a link down below. I do offer a one hour free consult call where I will take you through an exercise and we will talk through whether style therapy is a good fit for you right now because I want you to understand how amazing life can feel when your clothing is just there and it works for you and you don't have to give it a whole lot of thought and it doesn't stress you out. Okay, that's what I got for you today. Have a really beautiful week and I will be back next Friday. Thanks so much.